Okay. Uh, fun night last night uh, for, I think, our fans, for, for our team. Uh, but really started out, it, it was an incredible day. Uh, I was uh, very, very, very lucky to be there for the Jim Brown Memorial, which was unbelievable. I'd encourage everybody, if you weren't there, uh, check out the video of, of the speakers. It, it was it was incredible. Um, unbelievable messages uh, from each one of those speakers uh, and to to spend the time uh, talking about uh, the person. Head around, even though it's mostly player. backups, but like that's a fine. Aaron Rodgers is on the field. Deshaun Watson's on the field. Like Dom, can you? There we go. All right, that's a fine for ESPN Cleveland guys. We got to dock that one. I was on a roll there, uh, but great, uh, great day for for uh, you know the, our organization for the NFL. I was just uh, again humbled to be a part of it. Um, and then into the game, uh, you know, like we talked about last night. Was it perfect? No, never, never is. You got a lot of young players playing for the first time, but I thought the effort was outstanding. I thought all the guys were into it, cheering on their teammates, the guys that weren't playing uh, so much so that we got a 15-yard penalty uh, or whatever the penalty was at the end. But uh, a good night, a late night up in Adam early today. So uh, we've we got plenty of work to do, and, and that's the beauty of training camp. It's, it's August 4th. We've got work to do, uh, and we'll be back in here working uh, tomorrow morning. Uh, with that, I will take any questions. Okay, now I'm back to Tom. Tom, you should be able to ask your question now. It's unmuted. Thanks, Kevin. Hey, I apologize off the jump if any of this is repetitive from early this morning. We got there, a little, some of us got there a little bit late. As far as DTR last night, um, you talked about, you know, you were, were concerned, not concerned, but you were emphasizing his game, you know, calling, uh, managing the game, all those kinds of things, which seemed to go well. In terms of his performance, Kevin, um, what really stood out to you? Well, I think the first piece is important, Tom, is the for young players to function. You know, it's, it's kind of you think that's simple, but for quarterbacks and, and rookies and getting in and out of the huddle, uh, getting in and out of the correct play, uh, run to pass, pass to pass, run to run, those type of things. I thought he did a nice job of operating. Uh, and then, as you know, it's it's fun to see our guys play ball and and. You're, you're playing in a game, so it's live. They can tackle you, which can't doesn't happen in practice. So to see the rush trying to get home, he made a few plays with, with his feet. Uh, so he, he did a nice job. Uh, there's plenty of stuff to clean up, as you can imagine, and that's the that's definitely what we're uh, prepared to talk to him about tomorrow, but along with a bunch of guys. Okay, here, here's what was really good, and here are the things that we got to clean up. Yeah, but is he, is he beyond your average rookie quarterback, given the amount of starts at UCLA, big program, all those kinds of things? Yeah, I would say that's certainly one of the things that we were excited about being able to draft Dorian was how much football he has played uh, in his life and in that college career. I think those, we, you know, we how many times do we talk about banking reps and, and getting reps in the preseason and getting reps in the offseason? And and he's one that has played in a lot of games and, and been in a lot of big ones. So uh, I think all of that serves him well. Next one's going to come from Mary Kay. Mary Kay, you should be able to ask. Hey, Kevin, I'm uh, just wondering um, about some of the receivers. First of all, uh, you know, Anthony's first touch didn't go, obviously, the way Anthony Schwartz, the way that he would have wanted it to. And then Dalen leaves the game with, you know, with the hamstring and Jalen was out. So just kind of wondering a little bit about, you know, just the state of some of those younger guys on the receiving court. Yeah, you know, uh, some good moments uh, in, in that game. Obviously disappointing to uh, turn the ball over twice. We turned the ball over on the first play of the drive twice, which was, you know, not very good. And, and we were fortunate to have the lead there being minus two in, in, in the turnover margin for a long time. So that's definitely going to be a uh, a point of emphasis for us is ball security, both when we are got it as a quarterback or we have it as a ball carrier, tight end, receiver, whatever it may be. Uh, you know, as you know, Mary Kay, with with wide receivers and, and training camp, you're you're gonna have guys in and out, and 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 we'll we'll adjust as as necessary. You don't like to see anybody uh, go down for any reason, um, but uh, those are things that we gotta just continue to work through um, here, both on the coaching side and on the personnel side. Do you have to add anybody? Do you think Dalen will be out a little bit of time? Yeah, Dalen unfortunately is gonna be out, uh, which is you know I feel for the kid. He's done so many good things for us uh, over these months, uh, but we'll we'll add some players here uh, over the next couple of days. When you say out, is that like a week to week thing, or do you have any time frame on that? I don't have a time frame, uh, but it, it's a significant injury. 
Bad. Thank you. Thanks, Mary Kay. Our next one's going to come from Chris Eschenley. Chris, you can go ahead. Hey, Kevin. Uh, Dwan uh, Jones played the entire every offensive snap last night. Was that sort of the game plan coming in to last night with him? And what did you see when you watched, kind of watched his performance that maybe, you know, from what you had seen from training camp to, to last night uh, kind of impressed you? Yeah, I mean, that was the plan. Uh, he knew going in he was going to play the whole game. And uh, I thought we got a, uh, a, a a honest day's work from him, uh, you know, playing the whole game and, and not playing football in a little while uh, as you get into training camp. And, and with the heat, I thought he did a nice job. Uh, again, there, uh, right now we're, we got plans to, to make some corrections. There were things that, that he made mistakes and, and he also had some great plays, but that's part of, certainly being a rookie, but even being a young player and playing in your first game, you're, you're not going to do things. Not many people are getting hundred percent grades this morning. Uh, so that's what we do as coaches. We identify some things that we can correct, uh, but he, he's got the, uh, he definitely has the desire to correct all those things. Scott Patrick, you should be able to ask your question. Though. Hey, Kevin, uh, one more on Dewan. Um, you know, he looked like he wasn't in the best shape when he got to Ricky Minicamp. So how far have you seen him develop in that area? Yeah, he's working very, very hard in that department. Uh, and I, I think he's making great strides. And then with Dorian, um, a couple protecting your body kind of things. Were you fine with how he threw his body in there on the block? And on one of the scrambles, did he leave himself vulnerable for an extra hit that maybe he didn't need to take on the sideline? The one that was a penalty? No, the, I think it was the one after that, actually. Yeah, uh, I think... Uh, we talk about it, Scott, with the quarterbacks when, when it's time to get down and slide when you're when you can. Uh, there's other times where you really can't slide because you're in a crowd and sliding is going to expose your upper body and, and your torso uh, to some some contact. So uh, those are well, things we'll continue to talk about. You know, it's the first time he's been been tackled since what, December, maybe. Um, so just getting back in the rhythm of that, I think, is important. Thanks. OK, we're going to Ashley Bastock. Hey, Kevin, um, to just go back to Dalen for a second. I mean, I know he seemed to be making some big plays throughout camp. I know he hung around last year. Just how unfortunate is it when you have a guy who's like in that fight for a roster spot go down with an injury like this? Yeah, it's it's no fun, Ashley. Uh, you know, we the, you watch these guys. The, we get to watch all the work that they put in in the weight room, in the meeting room, on the practice field, you name it. Uh, and and Dalen's a guy that's been – very diligent uh in this building uh he, he's a guy that uh all throughout the month of june when i popped my head in here he happened to be in that weight room and uh so it's a very unfortunate part of our game but he'll he'll bounce back uh with i have no doubt about that um and that's just part of that's the nature of the, this game and just a clarifying question on the injury in the press box last night they said hamstring is that still what the issue is yes thanks Hey, we'll go to Tony Grossi. Tony, you should be able to unmute. Okay, so I'll be the one to ask the KDR question. Um, Kevin, <clears throat> we see him every practice. He kicks. It's almost automatic. And then what happened yesterday, almost missed the first PAT also. Um, what's your level of concern? What do you and Bubba think is going on uh, above his shoulders? Well, I, I think I see it very similar to all of our players Tony, uh, I, I think it's the preseason. It's time to work. It's time to gain valuable experience, both in practice and in the games. Uh, but past that, I, you know, I don't, I don't know. That's anything um, to to for the future that is majorly concerning. He's a young player that's working, uh, and and I know he's going to continue to work. All right, and uh, Austin Watkins. Uh, after the game, you seem quite impressed with what he's done. The fact that he played in the USFL. Um, uh, in the spring, he, he comes in and he looks more polished, perhaps, because of that. Uh, is he rising up uh, the charts a little Yeah, bit? I think that's a fair point. You know, you go from playing football right into playing football and, and you haven't been on the street for a couple of years or a couple of weeks, whatever it may be. So I, I think he's he's certainly in playing shape and, and his playing speed has been good. Uh, he's been impressive in the moments that he's had with us and, and the game reps and now and then practice reps, he's done a nice job. So Again, he'll get plenty of opportunities with, with what happens with receivers. As we all know, you, you, you 
lose guys for a day or two or whatever it may be. And the guys that are available will continue to uh, be able to show what they're capable of. Thank you. Are we going to go to Daryl? Daryl, you should be able to fire away. You're muted, Daryl. You can unmute. There we go. Uh, sorry about that, Kevin. Um, what did you take away from the play of the interior of your defensive line last night? Seems like there's a lot of competition in that group for those reserve roles behind your two starters. Yeah, uh, again, not perfect, but I thought the effort uh, was definitely there. Guys were getting off the ball, playing physical, uh, really pleased with really how all 11 were running to the ball. Uh, so it, it's a a competitive roster, really, one through 53, as we know. Uh, and certainly that there's places where we got a bunch of good players, and that's what this training camp is for. That's what these practices are for, for the games are for. Uh, let the guys continue to just go show what they can do. And I want to ask you about Cameron Mitchell. I know he's kind of down on the depth chart, but we've seen him make some splash plays over the last week or so. Uh, just – your evaluation of what you've uh, observed from him and uh you know uh how is he is he kind of kind of playing his his way onto your radar uh you know young player uh, doing a nice job with the reps he's getting uh you know for for all of our players young and old they're they're, they're trying to earn a role uh, and that's what practice is for. That's what the games are for. Cam's done a nice job. He's definitely made some plays on the ball, which is great. Uh, he's he's a very uh, conscientious kid, knows uh, that that he's got to be uh, working hard both on defense and on special teams. And I, I think uh, he's somebody that keeps uh, just continuing to come along. I'm going to go to Jeff. Jeff, you can mute, unmute. For some yeah. reason, you're still – we can't hear you, Jeff. Good. Try it again. Can yeah, you hear you me can now? Restart your question. Yep, restart your question for us. We can hear you. I was going to ask you about Tony Fields. He seemed pretty busy last night. What kind of game did he have, and how, how has he come along for you? Yeah, uh, Tony, again, has played meaningful reps for us uh, over the years and continues to grow, I, I think, uh, played some really good reps last night, plays fast, plays physical, uh, somebody that we feel, uh, you know, continues to get better with reps. And, and that's really what the preseason is all about. All right. Thank you, Jeff. We're going to take these last three from Scott, Tom, and Tony, and I'm going to start with Scott. Scott, you should be able to unmute. Hey, Kevin, I want to ask you about a couple other injuries. Uh, look like Greg left the last practice we were at. Is there anything wrong with him? Uh, he's got a groin issue that he's working through, uh, but uh, he, he's continuing to rehab. And you said Tyrone last night wasn't able to go. Is that a long-term thing, or do you expect him back at practice? Expect him back. And then lastly, Thomas Graham, that ankle last night, is that a serious thing? It, it is. Yeah, that that was uh, significant, so we'll work through that as well. Thank you. I appreciate you, Scott. Next one, I'm going to go back to Tom. Tom, you should be able to unmute. Did you know Jim Brown threw two no-hitters at Yankee Stadium? I found that out yesterday. Averaged 38 points uh, a game in high school basketball without the three-point shot, which is pretty yeah. impressive. Um, so, I, I, yeah, unbelievable. There was a lot to take away from that, Kevin. And, you know, like, like you, we were honored also to be there. What was – what really, you know, stuck with you? You know, the very complex man with a pretty extraordinary life. Yeah, you know, extraordinary just to be able to make an – impact uh, in so many areas uh, to so many people, to so many different types of people. Uh, but just the, the message of of human dignity, the, the message of, of respecting all people, regardless of uh, where they're from, what their race is, what they believe in, uh, it just uh, was an empowering message. I was really not only fortunate to be there myself, but to have our players there, to have some of our guys listening to that, I know it had a, a very, very uh, profound impact on them. Thanks, Tom. All right, so, Coach, we're going to make this our last one from Tony. Tony, you should be able to unmute. Um, Kevin, in game zero, you went uh, one half each for QB three and four. Would you do a half for QB one and two against Washington? We'll talk through it, uh, Tony, this week. Uh, obviously, the, the as we go into this first game um, or the second game, however you're uh, accounting it, uh, we'll always stick to what we're 
trying to get done in terms of the amount of reps that guys need to get ready for September 10th. So I'll fill you guys in on that as we go. But uh, really, the focus for us is we got a nice three day block here of practices in Berea. Uh, and then we'll start turning our attention to Washington later in the week.